Not everyone is more than a conqueror. Not everyone that is more than a conqueror. And you can ask me, I say, but the Bible says that in all these things, we are more than conquerors. Hear the people of God. You cannot go about shouting, I am more than conquerors. I am more than conquerors. When you are not divinely connected to your maker. Hmm. Thank you, Jesus. To be more than conquerors, to be more than conquerors, has to do with the one who is connected to divine. When you are connected to your divine maker, you become more than conquerors. Yeah. You don't go about treading on every part, shouting, I am more than conquerors, treading on every part. The enemy will use you as a barbecue. When that find out that you are not connected to a vine. Because without your divine connection with your maker, you are not recognized in the realm of the spirit. You are not recognized in the realm of the spirit. Dear Lord, you see, let me tell you something. The Bible says, when the seven sons of Kerba, then they are going about casting out demons, and then we are not divinely connected. And why they were casting out demons? The Bible said, and a demon said to them, because they are saying, I cast you out in the name of Jesus, who Paul preached. And the demon recognized Paul. And the demon recognized Jesus. But the demon does not recognize this seven sons of Scriba in the realm of the spirit. He knows these are empty vessels. These are empty men with no power. And the demon said to them, Paul I know. Jesus I know. But who are you? And the Bible says, and the demon spread into them and tore them to pieces and embarrassed them. That's why I said to you, not everyone is more than conquerors. So that you don't go about laying hands on people when you are not divinely connected to your maker. There are men of God who have laid hands on somebody. After laying their hand, they turn upside down. Their life messed up. There are people who have ministered deliverance. After that deliverance, they never remember the same. You know why? Because the demon you are about to cast out, when you are not connected, that demon will mess you up. So when you mess up the seven source of Skeba, he embarrassed them. Oh, man of God, I'm calling to deliver ministry. But ever since I minister a deliverance to one lady in my ministry, I have never seen this in my life. It's because you went into a tantrum without power. Even those people who said, who use demonic power to operate, even those who use demonic power to operate, before that power is bestowed on them, they will first of all give them the power of protection. You know why they are giving them the power of protection? Because if those faith men of God will face spiritual power, when they encounter people like us, who want divine it, when they say, come out, we come out. When they lay out of us, they lose their power. Amen. So, and you will think it's just normal. No, because the power that is in them has identified you as if you touch this one, you lose it. Hallelujah. Hey, why you are Christian? You think the life you are living is ordinary. The Bible says you wrestle not against flesh and blood. You wrestle against principalities and power. When you are not rooted with the vine, there is nothing you can
can do. There is nothing you can do. I read what I said. But if you remain in me, and my word remain in you. He said, if you remain in me, and my word remains in you, you may ask for anything you want, and it will be granted. In other words, as you are connected with the vine, as the vine is connected with you, he said, whatever you ask, as you say to anxiety, in the name of Jesus, I bind you. Anxiety will obey. As you say to depression, in the name of Jesus, I come against you. He will obey. As you speak to any situation, he said, whatsoever you will ask that father, he said that he will do. Amen. Hallelujah. The reason why, because your testimony brings glory to the Father. Your testimony brings glory to the Father. The young people have come. It is the will of God for everyone to prosper. It is the will of God for everyone to be in good health. But when the enemy confronts you, do you know who you are? Do you know what you are connected to? Do you know the vine that produces, that will give you the ability to produce results? Is the vine that you are connected with Jesus Christ. Because life without Jesus, you are empty. Life without Jesus, you can do nothing. You are only relevant in the realm of the Spirit by the power that is in the name of Jesus. Amen. You are only useful in the realm of the Spirit by the power in the name of Jesus. Amen. Because it is a name that was elevated. It is a name that was elevated and broke every other day. Hear me, people of God. Huh? You know, if I tell you this, sincerely speaking, for in my life, if I tell you it was 2012, I know what is depression. You will not believe me. I have never heard in my entire life, I have never heard the word depression. No one has said anything about depression. I have never seen anybody come to me talk about depression. I have no idea what is depression. In 2012, when I came into this country, when I came into this country, because why? Before God will give you the power to subdue, He will first of all show you the power that controls the nation. When He shows you the power, He's telling you, these are this nation you have come into. These are the power you will death with. It is the power that rules this territory. I have no idea what is depression. And then He came to me and said, Man of God, in 2012, say, Man of God, I am depressed. I don't know what is wrong with me. I am depressed. I'm evil on drug. I have to be able to sleep. I need drugs. I couldn't tell the woman. I don't know what is depression. I just play alone because one thing that I know is a problem that she's talking about. One thing that I know, I have a God that never failed. One thing that I know, I have a God that is bigger than every question. One thing that I know, I have a God that is bigger than every mountain. So all I have to say, I say, sister, I come against that depression. From the root, in the name of Jesus, I command that depression out in the name of Jesus. I just speak in the name of Jesus. I speak to that depression. And I didn't hear from the sister anymore. One week later, the sister came to me with an envelope. And when I opened the envelope, it was 200 pounds. She said, man of God, I am giving you this 200 pounds. I said, what do I say? For my life since I came to this country, I have been depressed. I'm even on drug. I have never been able to sleep. He said, finally, after that prayer you prayed for me, I cannot sleep like a baby. I have been in you and I have been strengthened. He said, that's why I am so it is into your life to appreciate God in your life. Thank you, man of God. Up to this time, I don't know what is depression. I see I have no idea what is depression. I just say, oh, glory to Jesus Christ. One month later, another lady came to me. Man of God, I'm depressed. So because God has done it before, I knew God will do it again. Yeah. And I said to the lady, I said, your spirit of depression, I come against it in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. And the lady was made whole. Yeah. And the lady was separate. Yeah. And the lady said to me, man of God, this prayer you have prayed for me, what God has done in my life, from this day forward, my church, I will be giving you my 
hard times. This lady begin to give me my hard times every week, every month. She will come to me and give me an envelope. She said, I will be tithing to you. And this lady begin to give me her tithes. I tell the people of God, sometimes when you say people are saying, ah, men of God are using money, men of God are getting money. Let me tell you something. The reason why any of you have never put C on that envelope and walk to your man of God and say, man of God, I'm giving you this. It is because God has not used me in your life. If God has used me, I don't need to ask you. You will be provoked. I said, this source that God has used to liberate me, I can't do without being a blessing. That is why when you are genuine, you don't beg people for money. When you are genuine, you don't beg people for a sin. When God actually used you in your life, they are motivated. Some of these men of God you see driving private jets, they don't buy with their money. God used them to bless somebody, and that somebody became rich beyond measure. I said, for what God has done in my life, you will no longer fly any economy anymore. For this day forward, you will fly in private jet. I will buy the private jet. Yet the people of God, when we stand to seek first the kingdom, he said, seek first the kingdom, because when you are connected, Every other thing shall be added. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Seek first the kingdom. What you are begging God for, what you are crying for, that's why God is not wanting to give you the miracle you are looking for. He wants to put his word in your spirit. He wants to put his word in your spirit. Because he knows if that word gain root in your spirit, everything you ever desire is in that word. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everything you need is in that world. Say so you can do nothing without me. Let me tell you something. How do you, how do you connect it? How do you connect it to things? How do you connect it to a fire? It's to stay connected 24 hours of the day without any disconnection. Have you ever tried to upload a video? When you're uploading a video and you lost connection, what happened to that video? That video stays on start T until your connection is back. Hallelujah. Amen. So that is why I said to you earlier on, we have too many Christians who cry on their battlefield. Lord, come and deliver me. Lord, come and deliver me. When if you have stayed connected, it is the goodness of God you will be celebrating in the midst of chaos. Hallelujah. Dear people of God, you must learn to be connected with God every day and every moment of your life. Amen. You must stay connected. Because when they cannot, okay, let me put it this way. If you, you are not connected because why? We have too many Christians that they are always connected to God when they have, when they have job interview. They go connected. They pray as they never prayed before. The moment that job comes, they are disconnected. When they have a program, this one comes from men of God. When they have a program, because of that program, they pray as they have never prayed before. God, move in your power. Let their black eyes be open. They begin to pray. The moment that program is over, they see what they want. They roll back. They go back to their manual again. Some see that their career is not going forward. They stay connected to God. The moment their career takes shape, they are disconnected. Then when their life begins to face chaos, they are crying and saying, God, why is God taking so long to bring answer? You don't know that the same way you are uploading a video and you lose connection and that video stands still, so also it is when you are disconnected. Your life remains stands still. And when the devil sees that your life is so stands still, he messes up your life. That's why we have too many Christians who don't enjoy continuation of testimonies in their life. They don't enjoy the continuation of testimony in their life. <laughs> you can 
can't blame God for taking so long to bring you answer. Because why? If you are connected to God, all you just have to do is to say, I will enter his gate with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter his court with praise. I will say, that the Lord has been. I will rejoice for he has been the glad. Amen. How do you enter into his court with thanksgiving? Because you are not always connected, you need to charge up yourself. That that is not the will of God for us. Amen. We must stay connected because Jesus has already said to you, he said you are a branch. So which means that without the vine, you can do nothing. It's very clear. Without the vine, you can do nothing. And we know that every branch, when it's cut off from the vine, we know it's useless. The Bible makes it clear. He said, anyone who does not remain in me is thrown away like a useless branch. And wither. Some branches are gathered into a pie to be burned. But if you remain in me, and my word remains in you, he said, You will ask for anything you want. You can be running to God only when there's a problem in your life. You must stay connected. You must stay connected. So that any time when the enemy wants to touch you, they will be born to pieces. They will be born to pieces. You don't want to talk only when there's a problem in your life. One of the major reasons you must stay connected is because as long as you are connected, let me put it this way, the one of the reasons you must stay connected with God is because as long as you are in this world, you are going to face trouble. Trouble will always come. Challenges will always come. But if you stay connected with Jesus, who is the true vine, you will have peace and victory. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Go with me to Joseph. Connected to God. 
And once your life is different from the life of others who are not connected to God, people will look at you, they will know there is something different about you. And they are coming to ask you. They are coming to ask you because they will know that there is something in you that they don't have. And they are coming to you to ask you, what is the hope? What is the reason for your hope? What is the reason for your joy? What is the reason for your victory? What they are going to ask you this question. And the Bible says, be ready to give answer. Hallelujah. Amen. He said, be ready to give answer. You want to see what the Bible says? Yes. First Peter. Chapter 10. Verse 15. But honor the Messiah as the Lord in your heart. Honor the Messiah as the Lord in your heart. Always be ready. Why? Because when you honor the Messiah, when you honor the Messiah as Lord in your heart, there is something about you. There is something about your life. There is glory in your life. There is a light in your life. You become a victor in the land of the living. He said, always be ready to give a defense to anyone who asks you the reason for the hope that is in you. So when they ask you, why are you always having success? What are you going to say? When they ask you, why is your life always moving forward? What do you have to say? When they say, why in the midst of trouble, there's still a smile on your face, what do you have to say? You must be able to say, my God is bigger than all my problems. He is bigger than everything. God is bigger than every mountain that I can, I can not see. My God is bigger than all my questions. He is bigger than everything. God is bigger than every mountain that I can, I can not see. Hallelujah. You must be able to say, the reason for my hope, the reason for the hope that is in me, the reason for this hope that you see in me is because I am connected to Jesus Christ. I am connected to my maker. I am connected to the Alpha and Omega. I am connected to the beginning and the end. I am connected to the God who created the heavens and the earth. I am connected and every day when I go through trials, and every day when I go through troubles, and every day when life tries to contend with me, every day when life throws me chaos, every day when life tries to bring me down, one thing that I like to do, I fix my eyes onto the hill, for where cometh my help, for my help cometh from the Lord, who is the maker of heaven and earth. One thing that I know, because I trust in him, thy trust shall be thy shirt and thy buckler. Because I trust in him, he will never suffer my foot to be more. Because I trust in him, he is always by my side. He will never give me to the will of my enemy. Neither will he grant the desires of the wicked. My brothers and my sisters, it's not that I don't go through trials. It's not that I don't go through trouble. It's not that I can't go through affliction. It doesn't matter what comes my way. One thing that I like to do is to present in the midst of chaos. Is to present in the midst of battle. Is to present where our hope is lost. Is to present. I have learned to present through chaos. I have learned to present through battle. I have learned to present through all types of challenges. Why others are crying? I don't cry. I just give him glory. Why others are down? I don't go down. I stand strong, fixing my eyes on the hill. I know who I serve. I know the God that is with me. I know he who has caught me will never leave me, neither will he forsake me. He has guaranteed me in his war that a thousand is fair at the side and ten thousand at the other side. He said nothing. Nothing shall the enemy help me. Brother, 
brother and sister, it doesn't matter what you are going through. Stay connected to your maker. When you are connected, you cannot fail. When you are connected, you will not fall. When you are connected, you will bear no fruit. When you are connected, life will be tough. Because you are connected, you will bear fruit. That's what the Bible says. Even in your old age, it says you will still bring forth fruit. How can you bring forth fruit in your old age? Because there is a vine. There is a vine that never lacks supply. There is a vine that never stops the flow. There is a vine. Even in your old age, you will still bear fruit. Even in your old age, you will still break through. Even people of God, don't allow the trials of life to make you fall. Know that there is God in heaven. There is a man to pray. And there is God to answer. Somebody shout praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Are you with me? Stay connected. When you are connected, His grace is sufficient to supply all your needs according to His riches and glory. Hallelujah. Stay connected. Stay connected. Every rock that will make it impossible, that will make it difficult for you to stay connected. Hear the sound of my voice. You will be connected after today. You will remain connected to Jesus. You will remain connected to Jesus. You will not be disconnected. That rock that wants you to be disconnected is broken in the name of Jesus. I will connect you to your maker. In the name of Jesus. You will never be disconnected. You will remain connected with your maker. You will remain connected in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Amen.